Welcome tech enthusiasts! Today, we are tackling a major challenge faced by industry or remote operations. How do you monitor serial sensors in the most isolated and harsh environments? Now, whether it's tackling temperature, humidity, or other environmental factors, staying connected and power up out there is no small feat. So why do we even need remote sensor monitoring? Now think of agriculture, oil fields, or even wildlife monitoring station. These places are spread out and running traditional infrastructure like power lines or Wi-Fi isn't visible. And you need something that works miles away from civilization. But there are challenges. First, there's the lack of power. You cannot exactly plug into the grid when you're in the middle of nowhere. And second, connectivity issues. How do you transmit data over such long distances? And third, harsh environments. Your setup needs to survive wind, rain, heat, or even snow. So the solution, fiber optics, combined with solar power. Now these two technologies make the perfect duo to overcome all these hurdles and bring reliable data monitoring to even the most remote locations. So you may wonder, why fiber optics and solar power? Now let's compare. Traditionally, you'll be running copper cables and depending on on-site's power, if it's even possible. But copper has serious limitation. High signal loss over long distances and susceptibility to environmental interference. And that's where fiber optics shine. Literally, fiber optics can transmit data over miles without losing signal quality and they're immune to electromagnetic interference and can handle extreme environment and solar power on the other hand provides sustainable off-grid electricity for our system so together they ensure that your remote sensors stay connected and powered and now let's break it down into components starting with fiber optics. First up, the fiber optic cable itself. Now choosing the right type is critical. You want something that can handle outdoor environment. So single mode fiber is recommended for those long distances and always offer weather resistant cable. Pre-made fiber optic cables are your friends because there are no need to worry about the connectors or specialized tools. Just plug and play. And next, you need a fiber media converter or a fiber switch to convert the light signal from your fiber optic cable back into electrical signal to transmit data to your devices that can understand. And these devices are essential for maintaining high-speed, long-distance data transmission with minimal data loss. And now, onto the solar power system. You need three main components solar panel to capture energy, batteries to store it, and charge controller to regulate the power flow. Now solar is the ultimate solution for remote locations because it's sustainable, reliable, and if set up correctly, virtually maintenance-free. And what about the serial devices themselves? Now that's where serial server comes in. Now this acts as a bridge connecting your legacy serial sensors like temperature, humidity, or even motion sensor to your modern fiber optic network, allow you to distribute data across the network efficiently. And these sensors are critical for monitoring agriculture conditions, environmental factors, and industrial system in real time. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. And let's talk about design and setup. Now, when laying your fiber optic cables, make sure it's placed strategically for maximum efficiency and minimal environmental interference. Now, you want to avoid sharp bends or running it through areas with heavy machinery. And solar panel placement is the key. Now you need to position them to get the most sunlight throughout the day. You should mount them on an elevated surface with a tilt angle for matches your latitude. 
and power storage is just as important. Make sure you have enough battery capacity to keep everything running during the night or on cloudy day. And as you can see, we're using our all-in-one solar power kit. So basically, you have everything that you need in one solar panel. And next, let's get our hands on. So now we are looking at our all-in-one solar power kit. It includes everything you need. We have the solar panel, we have the built-in charge controller and battery behind. So it's perfect for fast and easy installation. We are looking at the power cable coming all the way to our first distribution box. Since we're going to t power up tons of devices, that's why we'll need two of them. The first distribution box is going to power our media converter, our serial converter, and our isolated hub. And then go on to the second distribution box. And this one here is going to power our serial sensors. We have the temperature sensors and the wind sensors. And the data it's going to connect to this end of our isolated hub. So it's, the setup is super safe. And then go on to our serial converter. So we can convert our serial data into Ethernet. And then I'm going to use the Ethernet cable to connect it with our media converter here. So we can send all the data to the media converter. Next, move on to the fiber optic cables. We're using this pre-made fiber optic cable. So it's as easy as just plugging it in to our media converter. No more messing around with a tiny connector. And we have four string. Let's use string C. And this is an SFP transceiver. We'll need this because it determines which type of fiber optic cable that we use. We're using LC connector, single mole fiber. So let's connect it to our SFP transceiver. Then we can slide it in to our media converter. So all the data will convert to fiber optical data through our fiber optic cable. So let's mount it back on the DIN rail. So let's take a look again. We're getting the power from the solar power to our two distribution box for our media converter, our serial converter, and our isolated hub and also to the second distribution box for our serial sensor. And the data will come over here through the isolated hub to our serial converter and all the way to our media converter. And then it will convert the data into optical data and then send it through our fiber optic cable. And now onto our switch here. Let's slide in our SFP transceiver so we can get all the data. And remember, we use strength C. So let's connect it. And last but not least, use an Ethernet cable to connect our switch to our computer. So now we can test our serial sensors. So now we're going to use the software to verify that everything is functioned correctly from the sensor data transmission. Now we have the VCOM software. Let's add device, search. Here we go. This is our serial converter. And let's hit OK. It is already added. And our COM number is 2. Over here, let's select COM number 2 open serial and let's look at our real-time data. Let's update it. We can see the temperature, humidity and let's also update our wind speed. So here we go. So as you can see, our whole system is working perfectly fine 
through our solar power and fiber optic cable. So with fiber optics and solar power, you've got a rugged, long distance and sustainable solution for remote serial sensor monitoring. Now, whether it's in the middle of a desert, up in the mountains, or on a farm, your data will keep flowing. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out other videos for more tech tips. Now, thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling, and I'll see you in our next video.